Welcome to Planet Microcap. I'm your host, Robert Kraft. And joining me today is Dr. Michael Levy. He's the CEO of Lightwave Logic. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is LWLG on NASDAQ. And Lightwave Logic will be doing a virtual presentation for our upcoming investor conference, the Planet Microcap Showcase Vancouver, happening September 6th and 7th, 2023. For more information to see uh, Dr. Levy's presentation, please visit our website, planetmicrocapshowcase.com. And with that, Dr. Levy, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. It's the, the Lightwave Logic Signal, and I'm really excited about the uh, conference. Very good. As, as so are we. So I want, we, we did an interview together about literally just over a year ago for the uh, due diligence series. So I invite everybody to go check that out. We do kind of a full on deep dive into the company. Uh, but today we're doing kind of a short form update. So for those that didn't hear that interview, haven't heard of Lightwave, can you give us that quick overview of the company? And then we'll go from there. <laughs> Yeah, Lightwave Logic is a company developing electro-optic polymers. This is a polymer-based technology, and we're turning those polymers into devices called modulators. And these devices are like engines that generate the information for the internet and the optical network that sends all the sort of the data from your computer to the websites and back. And so this is the technology we're developing and it's got great performance. And we're really excited that uh, this technology has a huge potential. Absolutely. So like I said, that last time we did an interview together on the due diligence series, we published that last year on August 2nd, 2022. So let's get that update. What would you say are some of the company's highlights from the last 12 months or so? Well, the big highlight is we we had an announcement in May this year with our first commercial uh, material supply license and agreement. And this is the first time for us and it's the first time for the industry. And this is really exciting because this is this is indicative of market acceptance of our electro-optic polymer material by customers. And so this is exciting for us and we're going to build upon this in 2023 and 2024. And, um, and yeah, I guess the other thing that's probably occurred more recently in August is we expanded our facilities in Denver, Colorado. So we have doubled the size. We've nearly doubled our team in the last year in terms of hiring. And so this, this is an exciting stage for us. So now that you have this first commercial contract on, under the belt, you know, what maybe you have probably have a bit more insight into the sales process and, you know, the time it will take to get some of these licenses on board. Can you describe for us a little bit more about the sales process and how you're working with your target customers to get them online? Yes. So in terms of this license agreement, um, it is to supply our material to a company, and it could be more than one company, and many companies who have their own device designs, that have their own modulated designs. What we demonstrated in the last year, and it's you know it's been a year since I talked to you, Robert, um, we've had different companies utilize our material and just generate world records in terms of performance using their own designs. Now we have our own modulated design. But we also generate our own material, which, you know, using our patent portfolio is nicely protected. And so we're happy to license our material. And so, because the goal here is to have everybody use electro-optic polymers. And if everybody uses electro-optic polymers, then everybody benefits. We will benefit from licensing and selling devices. And the people who license our technology, they can have their own applications and their own designs and then still use our material. And that, that's our business plan. Um, and we positioned the company in the last year to work with Foundry so we can scale in volume. A Foundry is a big silicon fab that can actually fabricate the modulated devices. So, you know, we're utilizing partners as we feel is necessary so we don't have to raise tons of money on the markets. So we're trying to be very capital efficient. That's why, you know, we don't have any debts. And so this move towards commercialization this year has been really positive for us. So Dr. Levy, to close us out here today, you know, from what you can tell us, what would you then say are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of 2023 going into 2024? Value catalysts is, is the where we're addressing the Achilles heel of the data center industry and the internet industry by lowering the power consumption, increasing the speed, decreasing the size. And we're doing this through the licensing of our electro-optic polymer materials and our device design for prototyping. 
Very good. All right. Well, with that, Dr. Levery, where can our audience go and find more information about the company? You can certainly visit our website at uh, www.lightwavelogic.com or you can just do a search for Lightwave Logic. Well, there we go. We're there. Dr. Levy, thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And uh, I'll see you virtually for the Vancouver event. So thank you. Thank you, Robert. Enjoyed the chat. Thank you.